Hi guys, my name's Natalie. I'm an Olympic weightlifter slash general weightlifter slash gym goer. Just wanted to make this video today because I couldn't get into the gym to do my normal training videos. So, women in weightlifting. In this video today, I want to talk about the difficulties that we have to deal with, little things that might get on our nerves. This is all from my personal experience. A lot of women go through the same thing. So this is almost like a piece of advice to people who may know women weightlifters or know of them and want to approach them. But it's also a little bit of sharing and caring for girls who are maybe new to weightlifting or just want to have a laugh. Number one, for a girl. So this usually comes after maybe a compliment or after an observation. It pretty much kills it because it's almost implying that you're good to a limit. It might be, oh, you're pretty strong for a girl, or you can squat pretty low or pretty well for a girl, and it's almost like, that's just, just rude, really. <laughs> I, I'm actually pretty strong for a person. It doesn't matter whether I'm a girl, a boy, or whatever. Equal playing field, please. Number two. I don't get too muscly. Are you allowed to just have some sort of opinion of how I should or should not be now? Well, I'll try not to get too muscly for your eyes. The whole goal of my gym life isn't actually appearance, it's more like strength. My goal isn't to look like a bodybuilder. So, I think we're on number three. You will look like a man. This just simply isn't the case. When you're lifting weights, you don't just magically turn into a man slash look like a man slash she-male thing or she-hulk as people like to call me at work. You just get muscles. i found the more muscly I've got, the better my shape actually is. You get bigger shoulder muscles if you work your shoulders and you can get a bigger butt if you squat. You can work on getting your muscles to look very feminine. You get people with all different kinds of body shapes and body sizes and even if they didn't have muscles they might look a little bit more manly. The point is it doesn't matter what you look like. Weightlifting for me personally is about the strength of what I can lift but also the strength in my character and my confidence that it's brought out. Number four, be careful, it's dangerous. You could hurt yourself. I get this a lot from family, from people at work. They just think I maybe don't know what I'm doing or I don't know. They obviously have good intentions but it's a bit like, you're a girl, you could injure yourself or you could break. What they don't realise is, is I'm not as fragile as the typical girl image. Enough with the, it's dangerous, be careful. It would only be dangerous, or I'd only need to be careful if my form was bad. And I'm a stickler for form, so that isn't gonna happen. You could say, oh, be careful crossing the road. There's probably just as much risk of an injury. Be careful in general, in life. But don't be too careful. Number five. I've had it recently where a guy has said that he has been intimidated by my lifting. Um, I don't know what he means. Why is it intimidating that I lift guys? Most of guys actually respect the women who do lift, becoming healthier, becoming stronger. You actually become more confident, which in turn is more attractive. I had one guy the other day say to me that he found me intimidating. It's real shame about the weightlifting, but he likes every other part of me, just not the weightlifting out of here. I'm not gonna have that because it's part of who I am. And if you don't like it, then you don't like me. You shouldn't be doing what you want to do in the gym for anybody else but yourself. You should be proud of yourself if you've beaten your goals. You should be proud of yourself if you're happy with the way you look. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. It doesn't matter if anyone's intimidated by you. You be yourself and as long as you're happy. And this one I think is number six. I have lost count now. And it is mainly something I believe. I'm just not interested in how much I weigh anymore. It's more my composition, my strength, my form. There's other goals. I think a lot of women get tied down with just the one goal, lose as much weight as possible. I am so thankful I have got out of this horrible, horrible vicious cycle which doesn't get you anywhere. I don't care how much I weigh and also I am hungry all the time and I don't care.